a big, big round of applause for, for Ivan. And, uh, I'm not mirroring, excellent. Anyway, thank you, thank you for having me. Um, my name is Ivan Pedrazas, I work for Docker. Um, as an engineer, I work in something we call Docker Labs, which is the research and development part of Docker. And this is what happens when people ask me, what do I do? I basically study complexity theory and why it's so hard to do things in software and in general. And in the bags this morning should have had stickers, but life happened, so I spent a few minutes handcrafting and cutting them. So it's there in my bag. If you want them, I can give them very important. <laughs> so yeah, like, like how hard is for people to adopt Watson right now? Right? Like that is the question that we want to, to answer. And, and can we adopt it easily, or it is going to be something hard? with a lot of yam. Um, we know this, right? Like it's small and it's fast and secure, like can be used. I've been trying to find images that that, that go well with use, but if you search anything in, in Google and Giphy with used, then no, don't do it. Anyway, the old Docker things about build, ship and, and run, let's let's go and see what we can do with this, right? It's like if we can get the same patterns, the same tools, processes, and, and people doing things, then adoption is basically a given, right? It's, it's easy, it should be easy. So Bill, what do we have with Bill? Well, we can, we can build was and models the old way, right? Like, we can compile, we can use make files, we can use Docker files, we can use OCI images, right? Spin build, like yeah, it seems that it's very similar to what we've been doing, creating artifacts. And yeah, it works in CI, right? Build, check. What about shipping? Spin registry push, can, can we just do a spin push please? It would be nice, but hey. Like it seems that we can do the same thing. Once you have the OCI image, if we package it was a module as an OCI image, then boom, magic happens. Because we can reuse all the stuff that we have for the registries, right? Or like, there's nothing new here. Good, shipping, check. What about running? Um, we, can, we can do a lot of things running. Like, like with Docker, we release the, the it's, in, it's experimental, but it, it kind of works. You can run, Docker run, you was a module and you can use it in Compose, right? So you can do it. You can do other things like spin up and now what we've seen with Casm, K Wasm, you can run it in Kubernetes. I think I have a slide here. Like like the reality is that you can create a module and you can run it easily in anywhere, in your laptop and in the cluster. Right? So hey, excellent. We can run it. Right? Like like this is a compose file where a module there's a service here that is is written in Wasm, right? Like I can create the module in Wasm. I can create the PR for my team and my team, and they don't know that it's Wasm. Like I know it, it is the issue with the runtimes yet. But like little by little, we will we will fix all the all the issues, right? I think that we support now four runtimes in Docker Desktop, but so it will come, right? So at the end, what is the issue we have here? Is the old story of of processes and tools and people, right? And we have seen that processes are good, tools are the same, so it's up to us people to come out and, and, and adopt something like Wasm. There's a longer talk that, that a colleague of mine, Georgie, did in, in Barcelona, in Wasm IO, where basically he was an example. I tried to do a demo, but like there was no time of showing all these things, so I thought, okay, I'll put the link to the video. And Oras, I really like Oras, how, how how you can utilize OCI images with, with ORAS, right? So like more links and, and that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ivan. Um, do we have questions for, for Ivan? Really? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Sean, Adobe. Um, on the build side of things, 
a lot of that is presuming that you've got a code base that already easily compiles into a dot wasm module to start with. There's a lot of, you know, getting code into wasm is hard. There's a lot of linking you have to do to your various dependencies. Is that something you're looking at as well as part of this like build ship run experience? Yeah, so so if you, if you look, one of the issues that we have, if you want to have a Docker image that, that you can compile and you can run in, in like in the video that, that I put, Georgie shows that you can run it in, in your machine, you can run it in, in a cluster, you can run it as, as WASM. The issue is about how you can handle the Docker files or the Docker images and assemble them to be able to compile. Compiling it, it's multi-architecture is tricky, but we will get there eventually. There are ways of doing it. It's, it's not with the Docker file. Normal Docker file doesn't allow you to, to do conditional entry points, but um, there are other tricks that we have. Hello, um, I'm Angel from Wasa Labs at, at VMware. So thank you for, for the talk. Um, I have a question regarding the people box that you place there. So do you have already any piece of feedback that your community gave you after releasing Docker um, Wasm support? So the, the, the feedback that we got was basically the adoption was great. Right? Like, like it's what I put in the Compose um, slide that you have, you have people who will adopt it and people who will not adopt it. But it's about creating an experience that works for everybody. Like, like giving you access to be able to build and run Wasm is, is one thing, but if I'm going to create friction to the rest of the team, then it's going to be a problem, right? So always think about, about friction. Like how much friction are you putting on, on someone? So it, it is something that we are very careful. Like right now, we could keep adding runtimes, but I don't think that this is the right way of, of doing it. Right? Like, 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 what is the model here? Do we have to support every single random so everybody can, like, it has to be something slightly different, right? And because, like, supporting all the randoms, it, it might be good, but the reality is that it's creating a lot of burden on, now you have to configure your machines properly, otherwise things are not going to work the way that, that explained it, and now we are in the boxy main machine situation again. But so it, it is always thinking about lower the friction to increase the adoption. More question? Um, so, Larry Carvalho with Robust Cloud. A question for when you are approaching or talking to developers and they are already using Docker, are you telling them to migrate their current workloads to, you know, to use Wasm in the future, or are you saying for some new workloads this would be the way to go? I think, I think that there's place for everything. In the same way that when containers came out, people were saying, oh, VMs and blah, blah. But I think that, that you will find use cases where Wasm works very well. But I was saying with people about, if you think about health checks, health checks is a really good example of something we could create in Wasm. And we could build ones and distribute, and we don't have to rewrite. It's like these kind of functions or models that you need to have over and over. You can basically create them in Wasm. And, and, and as you said in, in the Compose example, it's not about writing them, it's about using them, right? And, and the way that we share Docker files, it will, it will be similar to the way that we will share Wasm modules in the future. But like, like, it's something that solves a functionality, that's it, right? Because it's, it's about sharing, it's about the adoption, more about doing something that is cool, I think. I think we have one last question. Um, so when everything is there to, um, we can build, we can uh, deploy, we can, and so on. So what would be the next best step to, low, to lower the uh, friction to uh, enable uh, WebAssembly for all developers out there? So th there's a lot of, of people who are not aware of this. Right, like one of the things that we've seen in, in meetups, I run the Kubernetes London meetup, is that people are not aware of web, web assembly yet. Like how? Right, so like it, it, is, it is these two parts of bringing a bit of education to the industry and helping them to release things fast and, and easily, right? But from the, from the conceptual point of view of on the meetup, we like, show like, you can build a Docker image and you can deploy in the Kubernetes really easily. You can build a WASM model and you can deploy in the, in the class as well. From, from outside, the difference between a container and a WASM model is basically very difficult to explain. 
right? Like people do not like, particularly if you use an OCI object to distribute it. Thank you very much.